shoulder arthroscopy, beach chair position, and patient preparation. Basic operating room setup consists of the surgeon, assistants along with the back instrument table located on the operative side. The arthroscopic equipment is located on the contralateral side. At our institution, a standard Steris AMSCO surgical orthovision operating table is used. The patient's lower legs are placed in sequential compression devices to prevent deep venous thrombosis during the procedure, and then placed on padding to prevent compression of bony prominences. The patient is aligned in the supine position so their greater trochanter is in line with the break in the operating table in order to allow flexion of the hip to prevent sciatic nerve compression and prevent them from sliding down. Following this, the head, neck, and torso are supported in a neutral position to prevent cervical stress. Care is taken to assure the head positioner is locked and that anesthesia is comfortable with this positioning. Padding is then applied across the forehead before tightening the head positioner. A padded strap is then placed under the chin to prevent any intraoperative head movement in the sagittal plane. The table is then flexed at the knees and at the hips to prevent compression in the palpatal fossa and at the sciatic nerve. Once the patient is sitting up, the head positioner must be readjusted to assure their neck is in the neutral position. Again, care must be taken to make sure you completely lock the head positioner. The contralateral extremity is then placed on an Arthrex padded arm holder while assuring the wrist remains in a neutral position. A seat belt is placed over the patient's legs with foam padding between the belt and legs, with a further strap being placed across the abdomen with foam padding between the patient and the belt for protection from irritation of the strap. The back padding on the operative side of the table is removed to expose the posterior shoulder. A final strap is placed over the ipsilateral abdomen and pulled taut to the contralateral lower limb post with a piece of foam padding between the skin and the belt to assure the abdomen does not obstruct any intraoperative positioning. The Spider II limb positioner made by Smith & Nephew is fixed to the ipsilateral side of the operating table. It is important to assure the position will allow full range of motion intraoperatively. Preparation and Draping an unscrubbed assistant will hold the forearm of the operative extremity while the scrub surgeon uses sterile 3M DuraPrep surgical solution to clean the skin from the axilla to the hand and from the nipple to the medial border of the scapula. The surgeon then uses a sterile stockinette made by 3M Healthcare to grab the hand while cleaning the area previously held by the unscrubbed assistant with 3M DuraPrep surgical solution. The patient must then be draped. At our institution, we use two sterile blue U drapes made by 3M Healthcare. One placed across the neck and down the chest and back, with the second being placed across the axilla and up the chest and back. The U-drape is folded at the point where they meet to avoid the operative extremity being pulled intraoperatively. A sterile shower curtain type drape with an arthroscopic fluid collection pocket and associated drain made by 3M Healthcare is then placed to isolate anesthesia from the operative field. A sterile connection to the Spider II limb positioner is then attached to the base, with the sterile covering being pulled over the base. The operative extremity is then placed in a padded arm holder that connects to the Spider II limb positioner. Care must be taken to assure that this is locked in order to maintain fixation of the limb but allow full range of motion of the shoulder if needed intraoperatively. The forearm is held in place with a series of padded straps. The forearm is then wrapped in Coban wrap made by 3M Healthcare. The surgeon will then mark the landmarks of the acromion, clavicle, and coracoid, and then place Ioban made by 3M Healthcare around the edges of the operative area. The surgical team will then change gloves and conduct a final pre-incision timeout.